everyone. Hi everyone, it's Erin and I am here to give you a quick five minute video on tips on how to buy or sell your home for the first time. We'll begin with purchasing a home. So the very first step is getting pre-qualified and you will need to check out your credit via a credit report with a lender. So here is a sample credit report that, report that you'd receive. You can, you can get pre-qualified with any lender. Here are a list of some different banks. Um, so you just call a lender and tell them, I want to get pre-qualified. So the lender is going to ask you a series of questions just to verify your income and the whole purpose of all this is just to see how much of a house that you can afford and to make sure that banks will trust you with the loan. Now that you have a budget set, you can start looking at the type of home that you want. So you would want to decide, do you want a single family home, do you want a bungalow, do you want a condo, do you want a townhouse, so deciding whether you want a lot of exterior maintenance to keep up with or a low maintenance, the general size, how many bedrooms you need, the square footage you want, whether you want a view, whether you would like a large yard, are all things that you'll want to start thinking about. So once you have a general idea of what you'd like, you'd contact a realtor and they can begin setting up appointments for you to look at homes that meet your needs. So after looking at homes that meet your needs and your financial needs, then you'll write up an offer to the seller. Don't be surprised if the seller comes back at you with a counter offer. This is pretty normal, so you might go back and forth with negotiations a few times. Thing is, if you use a realtor, they'll be doing all the negotiating for you. You just tell them the price that you're most willing to pay and they'll do the negotiations. Congratulations, once you and the seller agree on all terms, including the price, the closing date, how much they're willing to pay for the closing costs, then you are officially under contract. So once you're under contract, now it's time to go back to the lender, give them a copy of your contract, and let them know that you're ready to move forward with the loan process. They're going to order an appraisal to make sure that the dream home that you've picked out is worth the price that you've negotiated in your contract. So a third party will complete an appraisal for you. So after your appraisal comes back and you know for sure that your home is worth the price you've negotiated, then you want to hire an inspector that's going to go around the home and make sure that everything looks okay. They're gonna write up an inspection report, make sure that the attic has proper insulation, that all the doors work, that there's not a crack in the foundation. If there's any issues, then you're with the negotiations. The seller can agree to repair the home, um, whatever is not meeting the inspection report or give you money in lieu of repairs. The realtor is in charge of negotiating all of those repairs for you. So while all this is going on, you'll want to make sure that an attorney is doing a deed check as well. That means as the attorney and the paralegal will just be making sure that there are no legal issues with past owners of the property and that you'll get full title to the property. Um, once you have the go ahead, then you will go on to closing and sign the new deed. The owner um, will sign away his rights to the property and now you're the official owner of the home. And this is when the home has officially been sold after both parties have signed the deed. The day you close is also the day that you become the holder to a very large promissory note, the mortgage. So you'll want to make sure that you and your lender know exactly when your payments are due and the payment amount so that you will never have any issues with the bank with your mortgage payments in the future. So after you've lived in your home for a few years, you may be ready to upgrade from your starter home to your dream home or the home that you want to raise your family in. And it's just important to keep in mind that future purchasers of your home are going to be going through the exact same thing that you just went through. So you want to make sure that you have your home priced well so that it will pass an appraisal and that there are not any huge issues that might come up in an inspection report. 
and don't be offended if someone gives you a low offer remember they're just trying to get a good deal like you were when you first purchased your home Thank you.